In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a silicone matrix, whether for a reduction guide or a provisional matrix. I'm using Flexitime Putty by Horaeus, and you'll notice that I'm getting out a very level scoop. I want to make sure that, as we're doing this, that we use even amounts of base and catalyst, as the materials, handling properties, and set time are all dependent upon having these equal quantities. So I'm using the scoops provided to make sure I do that. Once I get the level scoop, I'm going to actually put it out into my hand and then I'm going to mix it in my palm and we'll go through that mixing protocol. I like the Flexitime Putty as it's a putty putty system and it has some flexibility even after cured which makes it perfect for a reduction matrix. You'll notice I'm mixing in the palm of my hand and kneading with my thumb from my other hand. What I'm looking for is to make sure that the gray and the purple colors are being evenly incorporated so that when I'm done mixing, I have one uniform color and I no longer have any streaks of gray and purple. Once I get the material completely incorporated and I do have a uniform color, I'll then be able to form the material over the dental cast that I have in front of me. So I first roll it into a ball and then I actually roll it out into a hot dog shape. So now I can just lay it in a U over the arch of the dental cast and then begin forming it. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a uniform thickness of material on the occlusal surfaces and on the buccal and lingual surfaces. The flexibility or rigidity of the material are dependent upon the thickness of the material. I also want to make sure that I'm going to get it into a shape that's comfortable to go into the patient's mouth, easy to get underneath their lips, so I'm going to take time to make sure I form it on the buccal specifically and also that I make it easy for me or my assistant to work with. So I want to make sure that I have a very flat surface on the occlusal tables. So if I'm making this for a provisional matrix, let's say, that then when I seat it with the bisacryl in, I have this flat surface so that I can evenly apply pressure against the teeth when I'm holding it in the mouth. Making sure that the labial surface is flat and smooth makes it more comfortable for the patient as well.